Ruger SP-101 357 Magnum, shooting 38 Special today. This gun is wearing Badger grips. This is their Badger uh, boot grip, and it's in purple walnut and tongue oil, tongue oil finish on it. I don't know if they still have the purple walnut available. I looked on their website today, didn't see purple walnut, saw American black walnut. Probably looks pretty similar to this, but the purple walnut, I don't know if that was a limited time thing or if they just don't currently have it. But uh, I love the way this combination looks. Let's see how it feels as we shoot it. Feels pretty nice. Looking at the grip itself, you can see that the seam right here is pretty visible. Okay, it doesn't become like an invisible seam. And you can see that there's a slight overlap in the two panels, one side versus the other, which I'm not a big fan of. And it's really difficult, um, at least for me, to get that perfectly flush and then to get it to stay there. As I'm shooting it today, I gotta make sure that that screw is nice and tight, otherwise, I do find these separate panels to sh shifting back and forth just slightly. I don't really like that fact, but I figure if I can get it nice and tight and keep it that way, that will probably never be an issue. It may be a matter of taking it apart, really focusing on getting it perfect, getting some good blue or even red Loctite in there. Uh, maybe that's all it needs, but um, I think once they're on there, they will look they do look amazing as they are. But once they're on there, they'll also be perfectly functional. So we'll see how it goes. We'll shoot a little bit more through it today and see how they hold up. Mm. <clears throat> I am seeing that one of those rounds seems to want to get caught on the face or the side of that grip right there. Seen that happen a couple of times now. Um, this is the, um, the version of the grip that has the cutout, or I should say the, um, yeah, it's, it's basically a cutout in it to make it so that uh, you can use speed loaders and so forth uh, with the gun. However, I don't think it's cut out maybe quite enough. Maybe they should have cut that out some more. I don't, I don't know. I have tried using speed loaders. I didn't bring them with me here today to demonstrate, but I've tried that and I find that it's still a little bit of an effort to get those speed loaders up into that cylinder so that you can uh, load them. Um, so does this need a little extra work on it? Maybe, uh, I think it's doable, but um, with a little bit of finesse and a little bit of practice probably is what it takes. A few more rounds. All right, the grip seems to be holding its place, although it does have some slight overlap here and up there, but um, seems to be holding its place okay so far. I could probably readjust that here in the field if I really wanted to, but I'll probably just take it to the shop and do that in a little while. So I wanted to bring these Badger grips out here on my SP-101 today and uh, do this quick video for you to kind of give you an, an idea of how they work as a grip option for your SP-101 or other revolver. And Badger Grips does make a number of grips for various revolvers. Uh, the reason I was really interested in something like this is because I wanted this to be a, uh, a carry piece for hunting, for camping, for uh, any anytime I wanted to use it, I wanted this to be a potential concealed carry piece, this SP-101. And one of the downsides I felt it had was the original grip, which was a little bit rubbery, not super rubbery and not that bulky at all, but a little bit rubbery. And the downside that that has is it kind of hangs up on clothing and so forth. And if you guys have ever had sort of a rubbery grip on any gun before, you probably know how that can affect um, concealment. And that was kind of my main concern. So what I wanted to do was find something that was slick, but also really ergonomic so that when I shot with this gun, it would still be very comfortable to shoot with. However, in holstering it and carrying it, I would be able to have my shirts just hang over that and just slip and slide across and conceal that gun real well. And that is the main advantage that these Badger Grips offer, in my opinion. Whether you get the glossy 
or the tongue oil sort of matte look like this. They all have a very slick kind of a, a feel to them. So there's not gonna be any hanging up of clothing or anything like that. Speaking about the SP-101 specifically and how this does as a concealed carry piece, yeah, it's not the most ideal, obviously five rounds, so you're very limited in that regard. Um, but 357 Magnum is pretty dang good. So depending on your situation, I think this is actually a really good carry piece. And uh, I've actually put this into my standard loadout for uh, motorcycling. Pretty much anytime I'm on my bike, this is the gun that's on my belt. It sits outside the waistband in a very comfortable leather holster. Uh, so there's no um, discomfort as I'm moving around and as I'm uh, getting on and off the bike and you know shifting my weight around on the bike in order to uh, navigate different obstacles and so forth. There's none of that discomfort that you might feel from something that's inside the waistband or whatever. So if you want to carry on body, in my opinion, and you're riding on a motorcycle, outside the waistband is pretty dang comfortable. And a revolver like this makes a lot of sense for that. Now, a lot of the areas I like to go ride are wilderness areas. I try to go out into some desert, rocky areas, trails, and things like that. And in doing so, um, one of the things I may you know, need eventually to defend myself against would be like a coyote or some other wild animal that uh, doesn't want me in its territory. And 357 is a pretty dang good cartridge for dealing with critters, large or small. So that's another reason why the, uh, the Ruger SP-101 is a good choice for adventure motorcycling. Additionally, it's a good hunting piece um, for all the same reasons. Now, yes, your round's limited, but generally you're gonna deal with maybe one critter, maybe two critters, and it's, uh, I think five rounds is generally gonna be enough. Even so, I do carry extra rounds. This is uh, what I carry standard. I don't remember who makes this. Oh, it's probably right here. Toughproducts.com. Anyway, I think I found that on Amazon. This just has one little speed strip in it, which holds five more rounds, and that just Velcros onto your belt. You can see that there's a big opening right there. So you can slip this behind your belt. Sorry about the wind, guys. Behind the belt, and then wraps around, and then Velcros over and covers that. It's extremely slick, extremely small, doesn't take up hardly any space, real easy to carry five extra rounds. So that's more or less the case that I would make for the Ruger SP-101, stainless steel, uh, five-shot revolver like this, and many others. There are several others that kind of fit the same role, but that's kind of the reason I would think this would be a good uh, gun to carry in those situations. Now the grips themselves, the Badger grips, they add to the functionality there in making it easily concealable. They're pretty, pretty durable. Now I'm not going to be throwing these around here in the desert and dragging them across rocks or anything to see how they hold up. But my guess is um, through an occasional, I don't know, a, a drop on the bike or, you know, a tiny bit of moisture um, coming through in the, in the hunt or something like that, I expect they're going to hold up pretty well. Once again, they are walnut, they're wood. So yeah, they're susceptible to moisture, but Having been um, treated with that tongue oil, I expect that there's a little bit of moisture repellency there. I don't know if it's perfect and you're gonna be able to drop this in the water and just let it sit there. Probably not, it's gonna soak up uh, water eventually, but I expected it would repel some and uh, I don't think sweat would be an issue. I don't think that you know a little bit of snow would be an issue and stuff like that. So, so probably this is gonna be okay with moisture in that regard. Now going over ergonomics a little bit with this SP-101 and the Badger grip. So it feels real nice in hand. You've got about a two finger grip on it, as you can see there. Two fingers wrapping around it and it's very much carved and molded out for those two fingers. Pinky kind of hangs off on the bottom. Not a problem, definitely makes it better for concealability, but as far as getting a lot of control over the gun, not a whole lot. There's not a whole lot of control over it. There's just enough in my experience and in my opinion. Turning it over, looking at the direction my finger is pointing, which is about the natural way that it would point if I were gripping a gun, okay? This is kind of the natural angle that I, my, my hand wants to point in in order to get on target. Where's the muzzle going? Way up there. So it is not a natural angle uh, in that regard. And I find myself, as I point in, definitely needing to bring that muzzle down and really think about where that's going. Now, without a doubt, these Badger grips make this SP-101 look beautiful. I mean, really, really gorgeous. You can, you can agree there, I'm sure you will agree. It's a beautiful gun with these grips on it, but I really wanted to explore how it feels in shooting, how it works for concealed carry, and uh, how it changes the ergonomics. 
And I think I've kind of figured that out today. These grips are available for, I think, around $90 at, what is it, badgergrips.com. I'll have the URL down below. I paid for these grips out of pocket. Nobody contacted me. I didn't reach out to anybody. I was just really interested in changing out the grips on my SP-101. And these are the ones that everybody was raving about. Really wanted to try them out. And that is more or less what I think of them up to this point. Not perfect. It's got a few quirks, especially in regards to, you know, things not being completely flush or, you know, it being a little difficult to kind of get things flush. But you can get over that. You can um, deal with that fact. And ultimately, they are beautiful. They feel good. And I like them. And that's my video. That's my review, I suppose, on the Badger Grips for the Ruger SP-101. I'm Late Boy Scout. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you later.